सो हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल सर टुडे अगेन आई एम बैक विथ अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूमेरिकल सर एंड हियर इन दिस न्यूमेरिकल वी हैव गिवन द क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया एज 346.36 एमएम स्क्वायर सिमिलरली विंड प्रेशर इज गिवन एज 981 न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर एंड अल्टीमेट टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ इज गिवन एज 20121.59 पाउंड एंड हियर सिंस अल्टीमेट टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ इज गिवन एज पाउंड वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट वी हैव टू चेंज इट इनटू केजी so we know one pound is given as here 0.4536 kg so we can use in this value for conversion and the respan and maximum and their respective maximum sag is given in this table and here in the questions it is said that all towers are straight line towers and minimum ground clearance is given as 10 meters and neglect the effect of ground wires and here select the most economical response so we have to neglect the effect of ground wires so for if you neglect the effect of ground wires we know bending moment is calculated as fwc into h1 plus h2 plus h3 into nc plus fwe into st into ne plus ftc into h1 plus h2 plus h3 plus nc plus fte into st into nc ne and here we have to neglect the effect of ground wires so if you neglect this value will be zero similarly this value will be zero and we will consider only means this value and this value so here f w so, so for different span length we have given so for 250 meter length spans first we will calculate for 2 250 meter span length so for 250 meter span length here we first will calculate the fwc force due to conductor sir so f w equal to p w into 2 third of dc into span length and pw is given as 981 here we have given <coughs> pw as 981 newton per meter square sir so if you can divide it by 9.81 we'll get in kg per meter square sir into 230 into dc and the value of dc is given as 21 into 10 power minus 3 and span length we have just now we have used for span length 250 meter sir and here the value of dc is given as 21 here we have obtained the value of dc from here when a is cost pi d square upon 4 and the cross section area is no given in the question means 346.36 mm square sir so from this we will get the value of d so d is cost 21 mm so which is going to give 21 into 10 minus 3 mm sir So we have used the value of D from here. Sir. So D is cost here 21 into 10 minus 3. So on calculating we will get here FWC as 350 kg. And now we have to calculate S1. So to calculate S1 we have to calculate S1 plus S1 and S1 is the ground clearance. And here we have given the value as here minimum ground clearance is 10 meters. Sir. So S1 is the ground clearance and which is 10 meters here given in the question sir. 10 meter plus S1 and for We have just now we are cal calculating for two two fifty meter span length means for span length two fifty meters. So for two fifty meter span length, the maximum sag in feet it is given in the feet. So it is given in the feet and there for two fifty meter span length it is fourteen feet means maximum sag is fourteen feet. So in order to calculate the value of S one we have used here S one is equals to S plus sag and ten meter plus sag and sag is fourteen feet. And to calculate it in meters, we'll divide it by 3.28. So we'll get here 14.26 meters. Similarly, S2 is equals to S1 plus 3. And here 14.26 plus 3 will get 7.26 meters. Similarly, S2 equal to S2 plus 3. And here, here we have used here the distance from here to here is. Three. Similarly, from here to here, it is again three. So H one is H one H two equal to H one plus three. Similarly, H equal to H two plus three. And here in the question, it is said for a straight line conductor. So for a straight line conductor, we will use the value of alpha as two degree. So F T C will be force due to turning of conductor will be two T C into sine alpha upon two. So two into T C, and here the value of ultimate tensile strength is given. So it means U T S, 
and if it is given UTS, then we have to divide it by safety factors. And here we have assumed the safety factor as two, and also here UTS is given is pound. So in order to calculate the, the so in order to change the value of pound into case, we have to multiply it with, it with 0 0.4536. Since 2012.59 pound is given, and if you multiply with multiply it with 0 0.4536, we will get the value in kg. And again, for a straight line conductor, the value of alpha is 2, so sine 2 upon 2. So you'll get FTC is equals to 159.29 kg. So bending moment will be FWC into S1 plus S2 plus S3 into NC plus FTC into S1 plus S2 plus S3 into NC. And the value of R square is NC. The value of NC is a number of circuit is given. A, we have a used one. And just now we have calculated the value of FWC and also FTC. And also we have obtained the value of S1. S2 and similarly S3. So if you substitute all this value, we'll get the value of bending moment. And here the bending moment is given as 26371.0362 kg meters. So to calculate the weight, we have put the formula 0 0.000631 into ST into root under bending moment into FS. And here ST is not given, so we'll assume S3, the value of S3 as ST. So, if we substitute the value of EST, means S3, and bending moment just now we have obtained, and the factor of safety we have assumed 2, so we'll get here 2.935 tons. So, this was all for a span length of 250 meters. Now, similarly, if you calculate all the values and tabulate, so just now we have to obtain for 250, Newton, 250 meter span length, EFWC as 350, and we have obtained the bending moment as 26371.0. 0 0.3 and here we add as 2.935. Similarly, if we calculate for 275, we will get the respective value. And similarly, we can calculate for 300 meter span length and also for 325 meter span length. So here, we can conclude here. For 250 meter span length, here we have 2.93 meters we add in ton. Similarly, for 275 meter span length, we have 3.32. And, and also for 300 meter span length, means 3.74 means as the span length goes on increasing, the weight also goes on increasing. So here, conclusion can be drawn that here, weight is cost to 2.935 is the lowest weight for a span length of 250 meters. So 250 meter is the most economical span here. So here we choose 250 meter as the most economical span. So in this way, you can calculate such type of numericals. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.